We sing happy birthday to you And may all your dreams come true Happy, happy birthday oh, oh, oh. This is your birthday song oh, oh, oh. Celebration all night long oh, oh, oh. May all your dreams come true
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Please, it's mass time. It's a wonderful day, a day of great joy, a day in which we celebrate this precious gift of life, God's gift to each and every one of us, and especially for Sylvia Clarice. The blessings of the Lord are many, and His grace is boundless. And each time we gather to celebrate the Mass, it's itself a thanksgiving. And we have many things for which we are grateful, we are thankful, top among which is life, life itself. And so we gather in the name of the Lord, and we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters coming together as God's children. 
With confidence, let us ask the Father's forgiveness for his full of gentleness and compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, the Father of every gift, we confess that all we have and are comes down from you. Teach us to recognize the effects of your boundless care and to love you with a sincere heart and with all our strength. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Chronicles, chapter 16, verse 8 to 15, verse 24 to 34. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name, make known among the people his deeds. Sing praise, play music, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory in his name, rejoice, O heart that seek the Lord. Rely on the mighty Lord, constantly seek his face. Recall the wondrous deeds he has done, his signs and his words of judgment. You sons of Israel, his servant, offspring of Jacob, the chosen ones. The Lord is our God, who rules the whole earth. He remembers forever his covenant, the pact imposed for a thousand generations. Tell his glory among the nations, among all people, his wondrous deeds. For great is the Lord, and highly to be praised, to be feared above all gods. For the God of the nations all do nothing, but the Lord made the heavens. Splendor and majesty go before him. Power and rejoicing are his holy place. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and might. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and come before him. Bow down to the Lord. Splendid in holiness, tremble before him all the earth. The world will surely stand fast, never to be moved. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let them say among the nations, the Lord is king. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then let all the trees of the forest exult before the Lord, who comes, who comes to rule the earth. Give thanks to the Lord, who is good, whose love endures forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We know that all things work for God, for those who love God, who are called according to his purpose, for those who knew he also predestined, predestined to conform to the image of his son so that he might be the firstborn among many other many brothers and those he predestined to he also called and those he called he also justified and those he justified he also glorified what then shall we say to this if God is for us, who can be against us? 
he who did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all, how will he not also give us everything he also, he, everything else among, along with him? Who will bring a change, a charge against God, chosen, God's chosen one? It is God who acquits us, who will condemn. It is Christ, Jesus, who died, rather was raised, who also is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercede for us. What will spare us from the love of Christ Will anguish or distress or persecution of famine or nakedness or peril or the sword? No. In all these things, we conquer overwhelmingly through him who loved, who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angel, no principalities, no present things, no future things, no power, no height, no depth, no any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. The word of the Lord. According to Matthew. Jesus again in reply spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son. He dispatched his servants to summon the invited guests to the feast, but they refused to come. A second time he sent other servants, saying, Tell those invited, Behold, I have prepared my banquet, my cows and fattened cattle are killed, and everything is ready, come to the feast. Some ignored the invitation and went away, one to his farm, another to his business. The rest laid hold of his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged and sent his troops, destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, The feast is ready, but those who were invited were not worthy to come. Go out, therefore, into the main roads and invite to the feast whomever you find. The servants went out into the streets and gathered all they found, bad and good alike, and the hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to meet the guest, he saw a man there not dressed in a wedding garment. He said to him, My friend, how is it that you came in here without a wedding garment? But he was reduced to silence. Then the king said to his attendants, Bind his hands and feet and cast him into the darkness outside, where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Many are invited but few are chosen. The Gospel of the Lord. To God, Please be seated. Truly everybody is dressed for this occasion. And it's an external sign of our joy. 
It's an external sign of our gladness. We clarice. It's a wonderful occasion. Each time we gather in celebration, it's always a wonderful joy in which the Lord gives to each and every one of us. Especially the celebration of a birthday. It's always appropriate to give thanks to God. And a birthday provides an opportunity for acknowledging and giving thanks to God as the author and giver of life. Giver of every good gift. Birthdays are a good reminder of what God has given us. How God has guided us. And Clarice, the journey and the life God has given you. And our lives. And Clarice, your life is really a big deal to God. That is why we celebrate. Because it's a gift, and life is precious. The reading you chose for this celebration, invoke his name, make known among the peoples his deeds, sing praise, play music, proclaim his wondrous deeds, rejoice. And we are going to do all that here this evening. I can tell you that I'm sure when I'm gone there will be a lot of dancing afterwards. <laughs> And we're doing all that. Why? Because we realize that life is a journey. Life is a journey. And that journey takes us through many roads, routes. And different people see this life from different perspectives. And so they handle and treat it differently. The way you see this life is the way you are likely to take, handle, and treat it. On this journey, there are lots and lots of experiences, various situations, joys, challenges. And I'm sure, Clarice, you've had a share of all this. As I prayed for you, especially this past week in preparation for this celebration, the words you sent to me about your life, and your journey of faith, your experiences, and those words came truly from your inmost being. And as I prayed, those words spoke truly to my own heart. I'm going to read to you some of the things that Clarice herself sent to me. You, know, you described your early years here in the United States and the different experiences. And then you said the struggles were many, the temptations were many, various struggles, and there was so much more. In the midst of difficulties, you said, my mom stood by me through every step of that arduous journey with her holy rosary. And I'm reading just what you said. I realized that at some point, no one could get me out of any mess which I found myself in except God. So I started praying. I found consolation in a little chapel at the Basilica of the National Shrine called the Lady of Guadalupe. I went there every time, every chance I got. I would sit there for hours. Gradually, my life started turning around. I developed a very personal relationship with the Blessed Mother. Miracles in my life became a daily occurrence. And I decided I liked living a prayerful life. 
He said, I never needed anything after that. Everything I needed came to me. It did not matter how small or big, tangible or intangible. I pray for myself and I pray for others. And always get evidence of prayers answered. This is part of what you sent to me and I could just read it and sit down. It speaks for itself. But the point is, life being a journey and traveling on a long journey such as life will involve a lot of what I call turning points. Turning points mean leaving one aspect of a journey to another, leaving one road, highway to another. And most of us, if not all of us, we use GPSs. We use MapQuest for directions. And when you look at the MapQuest, you're likely to see something like travel 30 miles. Sometimes I have to tell my GPS, shut up, I know where I'm going to. Travel 30 miles and make a right turn to take I-95 now. The words used are to take. That is, you are not on I-95 yet, but you are advised to take it. When you take it, that is what I call a turn or a turning point. When you take it, you are likely to see or hear merge onto I-95 South as the case may be. And when you merge, then you are likely to see or hear travel on I-95 North for 10 miles and keep left or keep to the right and so on and so forth. Clarice, I want to use this opportunity to congratulate you today for your life's journey. You have seen God's blessings for you, his peace, battles, struggles, pleasant and unpleasant situations, but the journey continues. And what I would tell you is in all circumstances, give thanks. Give thanks for everything. Give thanks at all times. The problem with all of us is that sometimes we are now situations we are in to swallow us up and to swallow all thought of God's power and goodness. Or we begin to think we have earned and deserved all the good things we have. And we forget that God is able to help us in the midst of the challenges that we encounter. St. Paul tells you today, all things work for the good for those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. And there is nothing over these years that could separate you from the love of Christ Jesus. Nothing will be able to separate you from the love of God. In another section of what you, you sent to me, you said, God has put lots of angels in my path to help me along the way. I recognize them, and I'm thankful to God each time help appears from nowhere. I discovered gifts I had, which I now use to brighten other people's lives. And today you said, I'm thanking God because he has showed me how much he loves me. I'm thankful for the perfect children. I'm thankful for a husband that is perfect for me. I'm thankful for a job I love. I'm thankful for a mother who prays and supports me every time. And you've reached a point in your life, you say, where there is no fear, no doubt, no want, but total trust in God and obedience to his precepts. What more could we ask of God? 
God who is gracious to each and every one of us. So Clarice, we thank the good Lord for the light he has given you. And we pray that he will always be with you and the entire family. On this day, you have reason to thank him and all those who have always made you perceive the Lord's presence, who have accompanied you, that you will not lose the light. The light of God is stronger. That's God's goodness. And so this should help you to go forward with confidence so that your life will be full of light and hope and all your actions full of tenderness, joy, love. And that is what we celebrate. And God's gift to you, this precious gift of life, which we receive. And we all gathered here have been part of those blessings in your life. And we thank God for those. And so let us ask the Lord Jesus Christ to bestow on each and every one of us the help of his Holy Spirit as we journey on in life that amidst the joys and, and the difficulties we may hold firm to him. Amen. Amen. Let us now stand and offer our petitions to our Heavenly Father. The heavens declare the glory of God our Almighty Father, and every creature he has made extols his goodness. Your loving response far exceeds the merits and expectations of those who pray to you. Grant that with our lips and our hearts we may sing the wonders of your works. And so mindful of our indebtedness, let us together with praise and thanksgiving call upon him say, We thank you, Lord God for this special day you have given us to celebrate the life of Clarice Kilo Odupita. We reflect on your goodness and for the numerous gifts you have given her throughout her life. We thank you for all the challenges that helped to shape her life. And we thank you for all the blessings that renewed and strengthened her love for you. We pray that her life will continue to be a blessing to those she loves, her family, her friends, and her community. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear we, thank, we ask God for a special blessing for all of us gathered here today in Thanksgiving. Like the parable of the wedding feast, we have answered God's call to celebrate his goodness, his mercy, and his unfailing love. We pray that God may continue, continually grant us the grace of living our lives according to his precepts, so that we may be found worthy of acceptance into his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank God for Bolaji Odubitan, Yoti Danga, Kilo Ndanga and Joanna Kilo, whose daily sacrifice, nurturing, care, and prayers have helped Clarice Kilo Dobita to live out an enriched Catholic Christian life. We thank God for the Catholic Women's Association. For the priests and the religious who have provided spiritual direction over the years, especially Father John Barry, Father Maurice Aqua, and all the priests and religious of the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception, and especially Father Kanisha Ta, whom God has chosen to lead us in this special celebration with the Holy Spirit of the Man, Holy Sacrifice of the Man. We pray that God grant an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life, so that His Church will grow, to, will continue to grow in number and in, in holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We thank God for our true friends and a loving family, those who have traveled long distances to join us in this celebration of Thanksgiving, and ask for God's abundant blessing, prosperity, and friendship for you and your families, and that God, and that God may, may, continue, may guide you safely as you return home. We pray to the Lord. 
We pray for those among us who are sick, and that that the same Lord Jesus who cured the sick and raised Lazarus from the dead will grant us grant us His healing graces. We may we experience the joys the joys of His healing miracles. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our we offer our prayers of thanksgiving to Lord Jesus Christ through the intercessions of the Mother of God, Our Lady of Guadalupe, precious of the Dupitan home and family, as we pray. thanks for the favors you have given to your daughter Clarice. Your mercy is without measure, the treasures of your goodness without limit. In your goodness you have favored us and kept us safe in the past. We appeal to your compassion. Stay close to those whose petitions you have granted and prepare them for the rewards of life to come. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. sacrifice of praise, humbly begging, that what you have conferred upon us in our unworthiness, we may give back to the glory of your name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was sent, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanks given this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church. And recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Thank you, Lord. of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
O oh God, who have given to us a spiritual food, the saving sacrament of your Son, which we have offered to you in thanksgiving. Grant that being strengthened by the gifts of courage and joy, we may serve you more devotedly and be worthy of still further blessings. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. I will now invite the Claris to come forward for a birthday blessing. May God, who loves you and fills your life with joy, be with you always. Each year, as we celebrate another birthday, we recall the gift of life which we have received from God. Today, Clarice, you give thanks for your parents and all those who have loved you, nourished and taught you to be God's daughter. So we invoke the name of the Holy Spirit. Blessed be God who has shaped you from dust and breathed life into you. Blessed be God who in his great love has sent his Son to save you. Blessed be God who guides your feet along the right path. Blessed be God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God of creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life. Hear the prayers of your daughter, Silvia Clarice, your servant, who recalls today the day of her birth and rejoices in your gifts of life, and love, family, and friends. Bless her with your presence. Surround her with your love, that she may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Happy are you who fear the Lord and who walk in his ways, for you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Happy shall you be and favored. Behold, thus is the man blessed, is he who fears the Lord. The Lord blesses you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Let us pray. O oh God, you have created us in your love and saved us in mercy. And through the bond of marriage, you have established the family and willed that it should become a sign of Christ's love for his church. Shower your blessings on this family gathered here in your name. Enable those who are joined by one lover to support one another by their fervor of spirit and devotion to prayer. Make them responsive to the needs of others and witnesses to the faith in all they do and say. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Be 